So this I'm going to do, uh, this, this is going to be a drill, it's more of a skill that we're going to be doing. This is going to be a jump backflip. So Sean's going to basically lift his knee. Uh, she can throw any bit she wants, and I'm going to throw my jump backflip. Uh, okay. So guys, we're going to do this as a skill that we're going to do as a drill, okay? Um, so we're going to bounce over Sean. Sean's going to bit his knee, she can throw any bit she wants, like I said. I'm going to do a jump backflip. Okay? So, ready? Okay, so you can see the way I'm delaying my shot before I release it. The reason I'm delaying it is Sean throws her really slowly with her back fist here. Uh, Trying to throw the back fist and then a reverse punch. My hands just get tangled up in Sean's two shots. It's probably going to be a one each, so try any any bit you want. Like that. That's going to be kind of a one each because my hands, are hit, my arm is going to hit off her arm. Okay, if I let her throw her two shots, let the referee see she's missed the two shots and then deliver one. It's a very visible score to me. So it's points fight is not about being better, being a better fighter than that. It's, it's easy to tell who's a better fighter. But if I shot a three judges, coaches, referees, who's the better fighter? Okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our back fist and the point the point set my head up and trying to draw the back fist to my head here. That's putting Shauna's hand in the way of what I want to hit, her head. So what I should do if I want to score from my fist is I should tell the body. I'm trying to try and go below, lift the head up, or if she doesn't lead out the body, you lift the head up. Okay? So you gotta set up your score. You gotta just hope for the best. Okay? And so what we're gonna do is put two hands forward and out here, and one on the outside. The reason why this one on the outside is if this hand is on the inside here, the closed hands, that's the score, that's the main score. Okay? So you put a hand on the outside, that shuts off the back fist. So anything that comes at you, we're coming straight through here, center line. Okay? So the placement of your hand is very important, uh, especially if you're throwing close hands, but open hands as well. If I'm pointing Sean and I have my hand across here, I'm basically going for reverse punch, so I can give a different target. If my hand is on the outside, I'm shutting off the back fist to my head, because no decent fighter is going to throw back fist to your head when the hand is so far outside, okay? If you're coming lead jab to the body, you're just going on the inside. So what I'm going to do then to take the lead jab off the head is, I'm going to put this ball up here as well. So that's the shot comes in, I'm going to punch the body, and you're going to jump back fist, okay? Holding the shot for half a second longer is going to feel really unnatural. Because the second you see a target coming inside, you'll go, boom, and try and hit it. But trust me, it's easy for the referee to score. So Charlie goes 100 percent speed. It's much easier for the referee to score that. It's much easier for the referee to score that the limit shot than it is to score. Uh, go again. That is probably going to clash because both of our punches have been fired at the same time. It's a similar height. Okay? Um, so let them. Kind of ruin the wrong shot and then pop them on the way in. Okay? Now, sorry, just before we move off that, a lot of people will, this will happen. See, I'm trying to sit, leave our hand up in the air, actually, uh, this, and that'll happen. Okay? And now what we do is we still hit with this, but as we hit, we rotate the hand over and then we score the reverse punch. One, two. Okay? So you're still guaranteed to score. And um, you can get used to doing one, two anyway, all the time, and that way it doesn't matter if you leave the hand up or not. Uh, you have a safety net there, so you can take the duty, so you got to be a score 100% of the time. Okay, let's go, practice it out. Skills and the drill.